Hi guys. Hi. Hello. These guys, this is a multi-generational review of <laughs> HBO's Euphoria, which is causing all sorts of headlines and controversy. And are you hearing that there's controversy about it, Maddie? Are they, I mean, I've seen articles talking about it's, it. Is it one of the most sort of hard hitting, frank, most explicit portraits of teenage life? I mean, yeah. I'd it, say it is. You'd definitely. say it is that, all those I things. I mean, yeah, because when it first, when the trailer first came out, everybody was comparing it to Skins. Yeah, right. Saying it's like the American updated version of Skins. Right. And I was like, nobody can do Skins. The no, Americans you were can't an do enormous Skins. fan of Skins. It's Bristol, yeah. you can't do that. Yeah. Um, when I saw the trailer, I already knew it was a lot darker than Skins. I mean, Skins is very dark and it's very accurate. Yeah. But I mean, it was before social media. Yes. And... It also has very... It's quite funny series as yeah, well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whereas, I mean, only judging from the first episode of this, it's... Well, we've just seen the first... Well, they've just seen the first episode. I watched the first episode with Nads and she really wanted oh, to review it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She really wanted to review... Oh, I wouldn't be reviewing it otherwise. I just would thought I? that, sorry. Oh, yeah, weird <laughs> to say. Um, but yeah, no, Nadia... Well, I'll share what Nadia thought at the end. But um, I was a little bit concerned going into this because I'd heard, heard that it was quite arresting. It was quite confrontational it was going to make you know parents of teenagers blanch and wince and weep at the prospect of what their teenagers are going through um it's just to give you some background it's come from hbo obviously uh, sam levinson who's the executive producer is the son of barry levinson who's okay. a very famous oh, director wow, yeah. uh, but sam levinson has history with uh, a film recently called As assassination nation which he pr uh, wrote and directed okay. um and this is and it's also executive produced by Drake, bizarrely. Um, I saw that at the yeah, end. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah, really yeah, which odd. is a bizarre sort of addition. And here's the thing. I mean, I've not seen, just starting from the beginning, I've not seen a, what they call a pre-title sequence, which is before you see Euphoria. Yeah. The first sort of five minutes. I've not seen a pre-title sequence more in your face yeah. or stylistically inventive yeah. and delivering everything you require of the beginning of, a, of an episode or a series. Yeah. I mean, it put to shame almost every drama I've ever seen. Yeah. yeah. Did, what did you think I as agree. it got we going both, with the Twin Towers and that. all that? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the very first minute, you're like... Yeah. 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 Oh, and, really and quite good. a poetic thing to say, born within the shadows, literally, of the Twin Towers yeah. happening, you feel, is this a cursed life? Yeah. Is this a cursed generation? Yeah. Right. In a yeah. sense. Do you know what I mean? It yeah. has that sort of... I thought that was quite an interesting thing. And then that beautiful montage of talking about... It's, it's told from the perspective of Zendaya's character, yeah. isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, now, a, a couple of people have been saying off the grid, and because the whole series is run in America, that she's talking from beyond the grave. This is the oh. suggestion, that she's talking oh, from beyond oh, the grave. And, um, oh. and uh, you know, I, you sort of feel that she lives her life on the edge, she's addicted to drugs, she's going into rehab and all that kind of thing. But I thought they, they've got some beautiful moments, like she talks about depression and then they quickly cut to Van Gogh, Sylvia yeah. Plath, yes. and Britney Spears, with, yeah. with what I thought was actual footage, didn't you yeah, think? It was yeah, actual, it was, it was actual, actual footage. footage. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, I've seen it before. Yeah. Yeah. So what did you think of Zendaya? What did you think of them setting her up, Nanny Di, for your generation? Um, well, I think I thought she was great. She was yeah. absolutely... She's unapologetic yeah. in, in one sense. So although there's masses of drug taking going on, she's not... And although... The, the thing starts with her having been into rehab. Yeah. She's not, um, she's got no intention of going on with it, which isn't mm. to say that in the end, for all we know, she, she mightn't want to go along with that. But the point is, she's certainly not ready now. She wants to just go around taking drugs. But didn't you find her nonchalance? I found it really sort of, this is something that I find, no, no, oh. this is something that I find as a parent about teenagers. There's what I call an aggressive nonchalance. Do you relate oh, to that, yeah. Maddie? Which yeah. is like, I think I think part of the teenage condition is kind of telling the telling the your parental world, fuck you. Yeah. I'm not. I don't give a fuck. You might give a fuck, but I am not letting you know I give a fuck. Yeah. And would you, how did you feel that she kind of captured that? Because she sort of sashayed into it, and I was just yeah. almost blown away within the first five minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought it was very accurate. Really? I mean, that's accurate in terms of how how most teenagers feel, feel and, yeah. and how we act. Oh, that's and interesting. Yeah. She's got a great persona in the, in the sense that she's, I was saying to Maddie just now, she's sort of dishevelled looking mm. while still being gorgeous and sort of graceful in, in some ways. And yeah. she's got sort of a really quite strong 
personality, which sounds like, you know, as if Because yeah. we were, I think we were a bit concerned about how good she could be, because I think she's considered, what is she considered on the street, so to speak, at Disney your level? Disney star, really. I mean, she, Disney star, because yeah. she was, yeah, that's how she started. And she's never really been in anything that really shows her acting skills, like I think. Like Spider-Man and stuff, yeah. Yeah, but I've always thought that she was a really good actress, and that, yeah. I mean, she's, she's very talented, she can yeah. dance and sing as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. of course, she was and in The Greatest great Showman. showman. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah. But... You know, she's never really been in anything that's really, really shown mm. how she can act. And I really like that she's done something like this, which is totally... I mean, everything else she's done, you know, including Spider-Man, really, Great Showman Disney, is all very light and kind yes. of happy. Yeah. And because I remember to the to the Met Gala, she wore a Cinderella outfit to say goodbye to her. Oh, did she? Oh, wow. Oh. That's face. symbolic. Well, Christ um, almighty, she didn't need to wear a Cinderella right outfit. She just needed to send out. them a DVD of this. Mm, yeah. Say, so watch Euphoria. Right before this came out. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, so she comes out of rehab, she goes home, and then the deceit starts to kick in, doesn't mm-hmm. she? Yeah. Doesn't it? And she basically, right down to the point of, I, I thought, let's just get out of the way. The stylistic look of this show is remarkable. Yeah, amazing. I think it's shot, beautifully oh, yeah. shot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, the sequences have been well considered and conceived. It does that clever thing of parking you inside the head of a drug-addled person yeah. mm. and almost generation. So you're getting... I mean, the title Euphoria is a really good title. So you're getting that sort of euphoric sense of things, yeah. which is a sort of 360-degree thing. Yeah. And it's reflected... I mean, there was one moment, and I'm jumping ahead slightly, there was one moment where she's off her tits on drugs. And the room, yeah, they, they, they've put her into one of those old-fashioned rotating yeah. rooms yeah. where she's actually yeah. walked and they've locked the actors down. I mean, clever use of what I would say are non-computer animated techniques, techniques yeah. to really, really get inside the mind yeah. and, the, and the soul of the characters, which I thought was great. But uh, what did you think of the young drug dealer at the back of the petrol station? Oh, my oh, God. Yeah, yeah. He's amazing. Oh, my God. I've never seen anything like him. He's no. so good. Yeah, it was I mean, so shocking. I so thought young. they dubbed him. <laughs> I thought he was like dubbed with the voice of, a, of an older drug dealer. Yeah, no, it was absolutely, it was crazy. Yeah. His turn of phrase, his delivery, yeah. his plug in. I feel like a lot of people would watch that and be like, that's ridiculous. Kids ah. that young aren't dealing. Except it's that's nice. interesting. But, uh, no. <laughs> so, would you say that is a true representation? Are, you, are there kids out there, you don't have to name names, but are there kids out there as young as, what is he, 10, 11? Yeah, I younger? Think it's about, yeah, I mean, I, I know someone who knows someone, uh, but. Wow. They know somebody that's nine years old and drugs. And we know that. I, I don't know about as extreme as he was no, dealing no, no, no. with extreme drugs. I mean, I'm just talking weed yeah, or yeah, whatever. Yeah. But, like, you know, it's still drug dealing. Wow. But, like, yeah, it's as young as that. And one of the things the police have said, isn't it, that it's getting younger and younger because. Well, they're the younger using they are, because, they're yeah. Gonna, and they're, they're easier to hold on to and they're yeah. easier to reward because yeah. you only have to reward them with an And they're suspicious. Figure. With a bike. Yeah. Police aren't going to find it suspicious. How yeah. did you feel, Mum, watching it, obviously having come from the 60s and had mm. your own encounters with drugs and drinking? all that mm. and having been a bit of a rabble rouser yourself as a child yes. and a rebel yes could you relate to it were there any sort of common themes coming at you as the you, as a rebellious teenager from the 60s yeah mm. i'll tell you what did strike me and this yeah. is a strange one i i suddenly and i didn't think i'd feel this didn't feel sympathetic to the parents in the oh. sense that and, and this was mainly around the Zendaya character, but also the others. Yeah. I felt that the parents, and I was thinking, well, mm. why am I feeling that? Because the kids themselves were obviously saying to themselves and to us, the viewer, we've got enough of our shit. We really we're don't lost. want you to, to, to get on our backs as an extra load of right, shit. Right, right. And I suddenly was aware of that in yeah. a way that I never have done That before. is interesting, because what parents are we looking at in this? They're, they're, well, her. They're, there's obviously well, her have, parent. Yeah, you have son, Zendaya's mum. Well, like... She broke my heart a bit, though, when she was kind of trying to work out whether she... You know, the relief she felt when Zendaya did a fake yeah. drugs test. Yeah. yeah. Didn't you feel for her at all? No, I didn't. no, no that's I interesting. Didn't. It's like the thing of Zendaya sitting on the toilet and then the mum was just making her feel bad about the daughter having seen her overdose, yeah. which I get, right. yeah, it's pretty tough, but right. like she's just come back from rehab. Yeah. And you know, you just know that if somebody's as, you know, has been a, as bad an addi- addict as that, they're going to be fragile. And if right. you get mad at people, I right. certainly know as a teenager, it makes you want to do everything you can to mm. annoy the person yeah, or yeah, upset yeah. the person especially in that moment yes so that it's like that's what i like reason. watching it i felt that sort of anger i'm not saying that but like you know if mum's ever gotten on my nerves yeah yeah, yeah it's yeah. that kind of where it's just like oh my god okay i just want to do every yeah, yeah like it's not helping it is really yeah not it helping. doesn't help the situation no. right so i didn't feel i i, I agree i don't feel any sympathy for oh, the parents right. yeah and i wasn't as it went on and say like when she goes to the house where 
she gets the weak pee from. Oh, there was the mother mom. there. There's the mother. Oh, the mother there. at the table. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't she? Br- wasn't she yeah. brilliant yeah. though? I mean, she yeah. was. She was malevolent in yeah. her. I was going to say, I can't fault a single actor. In this. No. No. I, no, I mean, truly, guys, if you haven't seen, it's a shocking watch. It really mm. is. You cannot watch this with. I'd say, under normal circumstances, it's an 18 certificate, isn't it? Surely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's an incredibly arresting, and there are some extraordinarily explicit scenes yeah. in there. Mm. Uh, but also, just the sort of. The lay of the land of of acceptability around drug taking and all that kind of stuff is it, you know you need to you need to have your liberal head screwed on to yeah. kind of watch it. Yeah. Um, we discovered that Zendaya's dad's died. Has he? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And quite later on, though, we find that. That's out. right. That's right. Um, and then, of course, you've got these other three girls who are all getting ready to go to a party, and then we're introduced. One's called Maddie. One's called yes, Maddie. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. The, I seem to remember there was a parent in that scene, wasn't there? It was yeah. bloody irritating. No, no, he just walks in and she's like, "Go away." Oh yeah, that was yeah. funny. Naked. That was funny. That was funny. And then we're introduced to uh, the buck, the jock. Who's, I think, Oh, my fun. God. Now, oh, that was really weird it? as well, because he was in the kissing booth. On That's Netflix. right. Maddie, uh, Kiki said that when she saw the poster for it. Yeah. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in the kissing booth. And in the kissing booth, he played a bad boy. But you know, like those bad boys in American yeah. movies where they're not really bad boys. They're really bad, yeah. Um, and... I think he, he was, was terrible in that film. Right, but as an was, actor. Yeah, yeah. Like, terrible. You know, he was just a pretty face and he was yes. picked because he was beautiful. Yeah. But in this, oh, he was, he's petrifying. Yeah, he's so huge. He's, he's so, so good. But he's so angry. No, yeah. but he's so, like, an accurate, angry Is kind he? of yeah. job. Yeah, yeah. That, that's... Yeah. I mean, he was he was everything as a parent of daughters. You oh, dread God. your children, your yeah. daughters meeting. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. And then what about the black guy, his friend? He's the one in Detroit. He yeah. is the one in Detroit. Yeah, I thought I recognised him. Yeah. yeah, I felt for him. He yeah. was amazing. I, I felt for him. him. Almost of all the characters in it, I, I felt for him. Right through to, he, he's basically undergoing peer pressure. I mean, your mum asked the question, why is, he, why is he not sort of challenging them when they were looking at photos of the girl that they were going to have yeah, sex with? Yeah, when you're in that yeah. situation. But that's what I said. I said, you, you underestimate yeah. also, peer I, pressure. I feel so sorry for boys because they all want to fit in so well Absolutely. with each other. Because, like, I mean, it's just... I'm being stereotypical, yeah, but it's yeah. just that thing. If if a boy kind of goes against the rest of the group, it's either you're gay, you're a person. Yes. It's just like it's that kind of stuff, which means a lot to a guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like you see it all the time. You see the we- like the boy that doesn't agree with the rest of the group, but just goes along with it because. Yeah, yeah. But I I still thought, although he kind of didn't really stop them. He was quite grounded in. I didn't. Yeah. He didn't change yeah. his opinion. No, stuff. he didn't. And also, there's he a really wasn't awkward. At all. No, no. And later in the in the in the program, there's a scene where he. I felt. I thought that was a very well observed scene where he he makes a move to have sex with the oh, girl that he very likes. Very on the edge. That scene. It's very on the edge, and it involves sort of some violent, sort of potentially violent sex. Mm-hmm. And I thought it really went to the core yeah. of the pressures on boys yeah. as yeah. much as the pressures on girls. Yeah. So you obviously you felt for her. I really. Was, yeah. And, and but I really felt, felt for him. him in that scene. I, and I thought he played that as an incredibly difficult scene yeah, to play yeah. because at the beginning you are like oh my god what's he doing yes. like, is he like has he been dead to do this or whatever? yeah 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 and then like he genuinely because what he does is he goes to choke her yeah and like she's like oh my god what are you doing i yeah. can breathe but like the, the way thing. he reacted to it was just like oh my god i'm sorry like i thought mm. and it's just really sad because that's what the problem with those are boys because of porn. Yeah, but then yeah. she has the final. And line, then she confused him. It's like ambiguity just, um, of it. Yeah, but only a she says only files. But again, that's that weird thing of reversed control. There's yeah. this idea she now feels that if she allows him to do that, yeah. she's kind of in control of that. But they're both victims of something that they're receiving yeah, yeah, and being yeah. pressured by. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, what did you think of the sex politics in it? Uh, I thought that was it was very accurate as well. Mm. Yeah. Because yeah. although I think boys are very stupid when it comes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I feel. I really feel sorry for them because obviously there's not a single guy I know that hasn't watched porn. Right. Whereas girls, it's, it's a lot rarer to have... It's, They're it's not quite coming rare. in this house now. <laughs> it's quite rare to have girls watch porn. Sure. If they do, it's just to see what the guys yeah, are yeah, watching yeah, yeah. and they're just a bit like, ew. Yeah. Um, but I feel sorry for guys because they just they just get the wrong idea. I mean, porn's really like graphic and it's yes. really, really violent. And, you know, in the videos they're made to believe that the woman enjoys it. So yeah. the guy's like... Oh, that's what I've got to do. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like they think it's their sex education lesson. Yes. Yeah. And then, I mean, obviously they find out the truth when they're like, when a girl doesn't like it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I thought it was really accurate in the way that 
and that's why I really liked that he was just a bit like, oh, I'm sorry. I, yeah. I thought that that was... But I was kind of gasping for that sort of... Human it's not to say there wasn't humanity in Zendaya and all of the others. There is humanity. Obviously, that's mm. why they're all so fucked up. Mm. But I was gasping for some kind of socially... Sweet. Not, yeah, 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 sweetness. I was like, oh, I want to clasp. I was thinking, I identify yeah. with you. You feel bad. You've got remorse. Yeah. Da, 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 da. But then and I also think that's a problem with the generation that we're completely desensitised. Do you think? Yeah. Do you think? Well, that, that... I felt that very much in those scenes with all the boys. Didn't you think those twins were odd? That were like, <laughs> like, yeah, like the boys were, really from liked, a Dr. Seuss like they, Green Eggs in really Ham and stuff. Yeah, they, they were, were funny, funny, weren't they? With their little puffs. They were, but also scary. They were like, very malevolent. Like yeah, something you'd get in a horror yeah. film. You'd be like, yeah. ooh. But like, yeah, I thought that... that uh, because I, I was the same, I was like, can somebody be really sweet? Yeah, yeah, really yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the same time, it's kind of like, you rarely get that because, and I don't want to just pin it on social media again, it's not no. the only reason. But obviously, because of our phones, we have access to see literally anything. No, you're right. yeah, well. And you know, teenagers are intri like, we're, we're intrigued to see everything because yeah. we like violence. Mm. It's the age where we want all of that kind of, see all that kind of stuff. Mm. But well, then you are, you're you drawn see, to horror like, and everything. Yeah, aren't you? But we, because of the we have access to everything, we can see the worst end of all of that kind of stuff. Right. So when it just comes to stuff, we just don't really care, because wow. we might have seen worse. And what does yeah. that make you feel, Mum? It must be quite fright. Is that a frightening prospect? Is that something you see as a development through my generation and then your grandchildren's? What? This sort of desensitising. Mm. Well, yeah, yes, yes. I mean, I said to Maddie, I mean, obviously there's always been porn, and yeah. I've always looked at it. But but not to the extent that now you just got a phone and it's obviously so too more freely and more accessible. Violent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, there's always been. I mean, yeah, but rape, they can the rape yeah. sort of oh. things and and even killing, as we yeah. know from as whatever they call them, those movies. Yeah, yeah, snuff mm. movies and stuff. Snuff like. movies and obviously masses of uh, underage sex as well. I thought so it, in that respect, yeah. I thought it did very good jobs of it was quite Scorsese esque. I thought in parts where it would do a montage of porn and then it yeah. would sort of it would give you a yeah. sense of yeah. something, a grab on something. I thought it did a very good job for those viewers who perhaps don't even have teenagers or are looking in. I'd have thought looking in on this without having your own yeah. teenagers. Us teenagers have been exposed in this. Well, no, I know, but yeah. also it would be like well, it would be like looking into a madman's head. Yeah. Of just like I mean, you know, we see the outer reaches of it, and you're, you know, in our terms, a good kid. But you, you skirt around other kids, and you know, you all get involved to some degree in all of this stuff. You're plugged into it because of your generation. But you do, you look at it and you go, oh my, look, I mean, I looked at it, me and Nadia breathed a sigh of relief at the end of it and went, thank God we went through teenagehood when we did. Yeah. I mean, you know, the pressures on yeah. your generation, I do think, are quite extraordinary. Yeah. Now, of course, there was a very troublesome character in this in this episode who's the blonde-haired transgender. transgender. Um, Brilliant. I thought she, he was amazing. It was. I mean, beautiful. Well. And, and I like the way they didn't overtly clarify for us what was going no. on. With I mean, I think we were ever told that no, yeah, I mean, you, 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 you just, just saw, them, you yeah. just saw yeah. physically, yeah, a, de a detail. Now, the first way we were introduced to this character was the jock driving along and being abusive to them yeah. on, the, on, the, on the bike. Yeah. I thought he was going to run her over, actually. Um, and then, of course, you discover that, that she, the transgender kid, is, is on Tinder and doing all that stuff and looking for a date. Mm. And again, I just thought, I was just, in sank. a sense, my heart sank as I just saw her... Mm looking at these bodies and the vulnerability all i was feeling all the way through this was i felt like my skin was raw and i think of how protective i am of all my girls the vulnerability mm. at work in this episode yeah. how did you feel about her, that character she was yeah 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 i mean i personally have never been drawn i would hate i would never no. turn up to someone i can't imagine a stranger but i know a lot of people who do people that do God. and like especially one friend of mine and it's just like it's just so so dangerous. dangerous. What was very clever about that sequence was though that they didn't show us the guy for, no. for a good sort of how it Yeah, even when, even when she was at... Oh, what, was in the scene where she was bit, at the motel? Yeah, yeah. when she was oh, at yeah, the motel. Yeah, yeah. And then suddenly when they do, you think, oh, so for old. God's God, so he's sake, a grown man. this is awful. Not even that, it's like coming past grown man, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, well, no, he's about my age. No, I yeah. know, he's old, slightly older than me. And it was just a hideous, hideous, lead, is hideous a scene. Lead. And I thought it was a... a I mean, she could still see she was so innocent. She yes. She was just like... Oh, don't, don't. Mm. I mean, I thought that scene was so brilliantly played, it but it's was. so traumatic. Yeah. And I thought this, I thought the whole show, the whole episode was really clever 
at filling it. It was very nicely written. There was a moment where she yeah. said, Zendaya's character, the way to beat drugs tests is stop taking drugs, but I ain't yeah. going to do that. Yeah. You know, um, Number I mean, one. Yeah, there were some neat, crisp little lines in there. Very cool, very sort of... I also wanted to say at the very beginning, I loved that sequence of the red and blue lights flashing across her face. Yes. Like yeah. Yes, yes, yes. She's yes. talking about the feeling of having... Yeah. Yeah, and, they, and that's what I mean. So they had moments of great silence. And I don't mm. know if you noticed, they held the shot for a long time yeah. on the transgender girls uh, on the bed. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously it's what has just happened to her. But I thought they held it for so long. And that's where bold, brave, clever programme making exists. Mm, yeah. Where you mm. just sit on something and you just kind of, you know, yeah. you just let it, yeah. let it all. And then, so the whole thing builds towards this party. And that girl, yeah. who's been essentially raped by a man in the, in the motel room, uh, goes to the party that everyone's going to, which, yeah, which is the party of the jock. Yeah. yeah. And you've got a number of narrative threads all kind of converging on the party, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. So you've got a transgender girl goes there uh, after, yeah. after the awful experience in the motel. So Zendaya yeah. is there mm -mm. off her okay. noon ass. I mean, she's just off her face everywhere. And she, you can see she's the friend who gets off her face but kind of gets out of everything. Yeah. It's kind of weird, yeah. isn't it? And then Maddie you, and her two friends. Maddie and her two friends are there. And then you've got the... And is one of those girls the ex of the jock wanting to yeah, make Maddie. him jealous? Yeah. Maddie. All right, yeah. Maddie. So Maddie then sort of flirts with another so guy <laughs> to make the jock jealous. Yeah. So the jock... Graphically. I mean, yeah, graphically. Yeah, graphically. So, yeah, so she has in sex the in the pool. Yeah. I mean, that's one way of really waving a red yeah. flag at a, 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 a red burke. Yeah. Um, yeah. And of course, not surprisingly, the jock goes a bit nuts. Yeah. Bit too nuts. Bit too nuts, which triggers... A transgender girl to go a bit nuts. Yeah, but it, 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 he ends up taking it out almost exclusively on her. Yeah, yes. so he doesn't she's know who she is. She's, yeah. she's new to the town. Yeah. He keeps asking people who knows this girl, yeah, nobody yeah, yeah. does. It's horrible. And it's really, I it's really thought that was scene. absolutely so tense. Yeah. You didn't know what he was going to do. No, I didn't. I, I was dreading. I mean, yeah. I, it's, it takes a lot these days to get me yeah. to a place where I genuinely don't know what's going to happen yeah. next. Did yeah. you feel that? Yeah, it's the really unknowability. Well, like, I know from like house parties I've been to, you always have one really really angry person really? yeah, yeah. Really? someone that would just lash out like oh that sometimes. i mean not quite no. the same that was like extreme. very extreme yeah but like you always have that one person that wow. you're like oh don't get on the wrong <laughs> like they could go wow. yeah. make a turn i really felt for is it her name jules i think so jules. yeah, jules. yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. felt for her in that scene that's right yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. and then she like cut herself yeah and then and oh my god oh and i've nearly forgot there and was... the, the, there's the Kind of fat girl. Oh my god, that was the most heartbreaking scene. Yeah, uh, no, I didn't she quite didn't believe like that. It. Oh, I quite didn't. didn't quite oh, I buy did. That. Oh, I did totally. Yeah. Yeah, I, no, I'm, not, I'm not even going to name the people. It reminds me of a number of people that you you've known, I've yeah. known in yeah. our lives, and I just thought, oh my god, I can see them completely, you know, sort of denying their boundaries in order to prove something. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what, I, what I felt the whole way through. Because because Nan, you kind of said. She said that she didn't know why she would put off having sex for that long and then suddenly be so, like, suggestive. Yeah. yeah. But I said, you know, I said, that happens. Like, yeah. I know people that have been like, oh, my God, like, what, you've had sex? Right. Like, that's I mean, and then suddenly, like, it, it I want to do it right now. Oh, yeah. really? So, okay. Yeah. Like, out of the blue. It's a really... And and it, I really felt like her, the whole time, what she was really wanting to do was prove herself. Yes. She was yeah. really insecure and she wanted... Yes. To, that was that really horrible bit which took her top off and, like, one of the twins said, oh... You know what they say, fat girls give head better or something. Yeah. Like that. Oh, damn. Yeah. It was so upsetting, that scene, yeah. because it was so menacing in a different way. Yeah, and the guy was, she was flirting with. Oh, was God, gross. the guy opposite. And his yeah. sort of his pressure on her was so different to the jocks. Yeah, exactly. But it was as effective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's very true. And when she came out and she said that line to a friend, she said, Oh, I've just done. And you felt the emptiness of the yeah, achievement. And you were just like, You could oh, see the emptiness oh, my actually God. on her face. Yeah. So I have to say, I mean, I, <laughs> An incredibly difficult yeah. watch, incredibly mm. difficult. Mm. But, the, uh, but uh, and when I say it's a really stylish wa watch, that almost suggests that maybe you know they're they're stylizing yeah. awfulness. No, no, no. It no. complement it complements it in a yeah, weird yeah. way. It makes you yeah. more. It makes it more real. It makes yeah. It one more... thing that would really annoy me if people came, like, you know, after seeing the season, was saying if that it was glamorized. Yeah, because it's not glamorized. It's no, not. not at all. What they're doing is, I mean, they're just kind of. I just thought it was it was beautiful to watch, but like. Yes. It's just, it's in no way glamorising. Yeah. Like, you know, 30 Reasons Why I glamorise stuff. Yeah. It's different. Yeah. And I really love that shot of 
Jules after she's been at the motel. She was on her bike and it was like a really dark yeah. shot from really uh, far yes. away. But she had a really bright spotlight yes. on her. Yeah. Coming yes. towards the camera. It was so beautiful. Yeah, there are some, there are some top draw cinematic yeah. shots in there. You know, you often get British films that are shit at the cinema that should be on television. Yeah. Yeah. And then you get shows like this that have that been made for be. television that should be on every effing cinema screen yeah. there is in the country. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, no beautiful shot. I mean, I came out of this thinking of the phrase Nadia used about A Star Is Born. This is a series, clearly, about a number of young teenage kids, mm -hmm. and each one of them is a beautiful disaster. Yeah. And, you know, and, and I think we're just going to watch, in a sense, the beautiful disasters erupt. Yeah. And, yeah. and hopefully get some resolutions that are quite nice. Yeah. yeah. But I'd say, I th I'd, uh, top draw, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Really and, then, and then we see the thing of the jock goes home, and well, yes, the his, final dad, reveal. his dad was the yeah, one that, that was had the final sex reveal, with yeah. the transgender. I mean, almost a rape the transgender. Yeah, yeah. Which, in, which, if you think about it, is a clever narrative device, but it also then immediately does that thing that your mum often talks about, it, which is... Even the most offensive person in the room, if you try and understand them, so you immediately felt some level of sympathy for the job. Because yeah, what must his dad yeah. be like? Yeah. Isn't yeah. that yeah. clever? Everyone yeah. is a victim. Yeah, yeah. Wow. For the dad. I and I think some it. people, some people might home in on it as well and say, "Isn't it all caricature? No group of friends will all be this bad." You could argue that. You could easily argue that. I'd argue that in in order to make drama, which is what yeah. we're in the mm -hmm. business of here, and mm -hmm. HBO are. You have to take a bit of everyone, and yeah, a bit I mean, of everything, it be, and you know, yeah. it wouldn't, it's, yeah. wouldn't be entertaining. It's not a documentary. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, I mean, that does you yeah. can't say. Obviously, also when I'm saying that this is an accurate series and all of that, I'm not speaking for every teenager. No, it's not no, 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 no. This. Of course, but I'm saying majority, and from my experience, yeah, yeah. this is a very accurate series. Portrait. Yeah. Uh, also, I, I tell you who I really liked as well. I really liked. The ginger guy sitting outside of the drug dealer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, one the one that's like her friend. Beautiful yeah. eyes. Yeah. yeah. He's got the yeah. most beautiful eyes. He, he had sensitivity. I love him. cares about the No, but he was yeah. a really real person. He reminded me a lot of one of my closest friends. Oh, yeah. right. And he's just... I just absolutely loved him. He was so natural. And I was like, yeah. I feel like almost uh, everybody has that friend. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, and it's a bit where Zendaya goes through this really dark, kind of tells him her dark past, yes. why she's addicted and everything. He's like... I'm too high to be yeah, having yeah, this yeah. conversation, man. Yeah. Yeah. And it was just really like... Yeah. But also his care for her was real. And I put a note there yeah. saying I like the first person she got drugs from because yeah. he was the one outside. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, yeah, they have parked those little sort of islands of empathy and sympathy mm. that yeah. you can latch onto, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and mum, would you watch it again? Yes, yeah. I should watch the whole I can't, series. I can't wait. For I think it. important. No, I, I think important for my generation and even Nan's yeah, grandparents no, to understand what yeah. the younger generations are going on about. Absolutely, yeah. 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 kind of being exposed though. All yeah, our that's secrets. true. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. We now know everything. <laughs>